Okay, I, I think uh, first thing is, uh, well, we're, we're happy to get this win. Uh, you, you know the history, uh, early in conference play, you're trying to establish yourself, trying to establish yourself at home. Uh, Cleveland coming off a tough loss on, on the road. It was an important game for them, and it was equally important for us to defend our home court. And I thought we did, you know, we played okay in some stretches, and uh, I thought our halftime uh, uh, team defense, we talked about our team defense had to get better at the second half, and I thought, we made a lot of plays defensively and down the stretch. I thought, you know, Paris, you know, 13 rebounds, affecting shots, his defensive presence. I mean, you know, inside, outside was a huge factor in uh, spearheading our, uh, our, our win tonight. Wait, did you recoup Rob Evans? Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. Paris, talk about second half. Um, this what you were able to get done offensively. Uh, really, uh, you know, my teammates, we talked in the, in the locker room and coach also, you know, we had to get ourselves going, you know, they uh, sort of made us play out our game in the first half and, you know, uh, in the second half, we just got ourselves going and playing as a team, you know, I, I look to get myself off as well as my team. Uh, 11th Street at home, Ray Day match and last year, you kind of put in a home court presence now, uh, people coming here having a hard time. Well, I think uh, our, 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 our team, uh, they're com very confident at home, and that's one of the things they talk about, uh, defending their home court. I mean, it's all around our locker room. It's, it's, it's what, we, uh, what we're about. I say you can't compete in the conference if you don't defend your home court. They understand that. They play with a lot of confidence and, and energy here at home, and I think that's what you've, you've seen. Paris, Carlton and uh, Gerald gave you a big lift off the bench. Talk about that. Uh, you know, Carlton gave him to uh, contain Rob Everett. You know, he had a, a, a good first half. You know, uh, we, we really weren't containing him too much, letting him drive to the basket, and he came out with a lot of energy and, you know, locked him down the second half. And, gee, he's always an energetic guy. He came out, grabbed rebounds, and, you know, did what a big man does. He got rebounds and, you know, set screens if necessary and just provided energy. Can I change your defenses away, Ray, in the second half? We, we, we mixed up some, but we gave special attention, and uh, we did a good job of helping uh, on him. And we, uh, when he started to make uh, attacking plays, we had help there. So uh, our guys know him. I mean, Perry is just one of those things where it's, you know, these guys play in the summertime. They played AAU together. They played against each other. So it was a, it, I know it was a fun game for them, and it was kind of probably – Bragging, bragging rights. Paris, uh, you know, the last two games, you set the bar, you know, so hot for yourself after a great freshman year. Last couple of games, you know, uh, a couple more turnovers, I'm sure you would have liked, and the play was down a little bit. Like, you know, what was different, you know, this game compared to the last two games? Uh, really, the last two games, it, it gave me motivation, you know, to come back stronger. Um, like you said, the turnovers, uh, I had to take myself back in the gym, you know, just try to get myself going. My teammates, you know, helped confidence and everything and it turned out good. Well, and coach, uh, you know, the one for you, uh, obviously, you know, with the guard situation today, uh, you had Matthew Grant step up big way um, in the win over Youngstown and Carlton really came in early on, sparked the team um, and really played well off them. So once again, you have a, a lot of options uh, at that guard position. Well, uh, you know, we played with nine, ten guys early and we say guys can get an opportunity and it's what they do with that determines what happens really the second half. And uh, it was Carlton. I mean, we saw it in practice. It carried over in the game. We saw Paris' competitive spirit in practice, and it carried over to the game. We still have a lot of young guys, and that's good. And I said, you know, even tonight, I said all the time, it may not be your night, but you can do other things. And the other things that Paris talked about that Carlton did, rebounding the ball, attacking, making plays, and, uh, you know, and then the defensive responsibility of, of guarding, uh, guarding Rob was, was big for us. And then Paris, uh, you know, second half, you know, second half day once again, this great defense, you know, really came and, and really made it tough in you know, some areas for Kansas State. You know, what did you guys talk about in the locker room? What were you guys saying on the bench there? Uh, really, you know, uh, it was just a, a lot of cap defense, you know, uh, and healthy. Uh, we were letting them get to the basket easily. You know, uh, God would pass them, and we, we wouldn't have enough help in the first half. And we really talked about locking down and help D and, and, and containing your own man. So uh, that helped a lot. Any more for Coach Blair?